All right, this is the last um, installment in terms of the uh, premature contractions and determining how to recognize one from a different, one from each other. You're looking for the difference between a PAC, a PJC, and then finally a PVC. So we've looked at the premature atrial contractions, we've looked at the P premature junctional contractions, and now we're going to recognize the PVC or the P premature ventricular contractions. So as always, we're going to go through and we're going to count our rate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have a rate of eight. Eight times ten equals a heart rate of eighty. So this person has a heart rate of 80. And walking right across here, a lot of people just automatically go, oh wow, that's a hiccup. And you look through here, and here's one too. So you've actually got two hiccups on this EKG strip, two abnormalities. So we want to look at those first. And the first thing we're going to do is compare the way this QRS complex looks to all the others. And it's wide and bizarre. It is wide and it looks completely different from anything else. So it doesn't look like the rest of the strip. This is a, and because it's wide and it looks completely different from the other QRS complexes, this means that it's coming from the ventricles. And we also want to double check and make sure that we don't have a P wave, that there is no P wave, and there is not. So this is definitely a premature ventricular contraction. It is the result of the ventricles. So when you actually compare these two, these two hiccups, as I like to refer to them, are identical in the way they present themselves. I mean, you can sit there and you can get really um, uh, anal retentive about it and try to say, well, you know, that doesn't quite look like this over here. But when it comes right down to it, they're so close in, in, in presentation, the way they, they appear, their morphology, if you want to use the big word, their morphology is the same. The way they present themselves is the same. So that's one spot. That is one spot in the ventricles that is cranky. So that one cranky spot in the ventricles is creating this PVC. So we want to refer to that as unifocal. Now, it does not come often enough to, to give it another name like trigeminal or bigeminal where it's coming every other beat. So th these are definitely unifocal and we have two. So we know we've got two unifocal PVCs. Now we need to identify the rest of the strip. So go back into your strip, find one you recognize. You're going to look across, see that they all match. You're going to look and say, okay, well, I got a P wave. My PR interval is within normal limits. My QRS is within normal limits, and I have my T wave repolarization. So I'm going to call this, because you do have the upright P wave and everything looks great, this is a sinus rhythm at a heart rate of 80. So this is a sinus rhythm with two unifocal PVCs. So that is how you can identify a ventricular, a premature ventricular contraction. They will look wide and bizarre. They're going to look completely different from any other QRS complex. So that's how we know that these guys right here are PVCs, premature ventricular contractions. Hope this